Welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I just want to give a brief introduction for um, this reading. This is for the month of May uh, 2016, and it is by Zodiac Sign. It is the Law of Attraction Tarot reading, and I will be using the Law of Attraction Tarot deck. I just wanted to say a quick thank you for everyone that has watched and subscribed and liked and commented on the videos. It's been such a pleasure and an honor to uh, experience this journey with you. And so I just want to say that I'm so thankful and appreciative and enjoying every moment of this journey with you. And also with that being said, um, I do want to encourage you to uh, watch the video based on your sun sign, but if that is not resonating with you, or if you feel you need more clarification, you can always watch your moon sign and or your rising sign as well. Uh, you know, just go with your gut, go with your intuition. And then also I did want to say that, you know, tarot readings are definitely meant to be gentle guidance for you. They are not absolute, um, you know, set in stone. So I only want you to take what is for your highest good and greatest joy and what resonates with you. And if something doesn't, that's okay. Uh, know that you have been given free choice and free will and that with God, all things are possible. So this is just gentle guidance. This is just my insight and intuition about the energies that are currently uh, surrounding the different signs. And it really is about possibility and choice. So with that being said, um, I appreciate you watching and let's get started with your readings. Hi Capricorn, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your Law of Attraction Tarot reading for May 2016. Uh, just so you know, this reading is based on or um, meant for people that are currently using or desire to use the, the Law of Attraction in their life. I do have some step-by-step -step videos on how to do that. Um, go ahead and watch those if you have not already. That's going to make the reading more meaningful for you. But um, I have shuffled seven times, so let's get started with your reading. All right, Capricorn. So for the month of May, what you are currently desiring, um, we actually have the nine of wands here and this card represents, um, setbacks. So, um, what I'm sensing here for you, Capricorn is you are desiring, um, courage and determination. You know that, um, whatever you have been working on or going through, um, you know, and this is the beauty of your sign Capricorn is that you are realistic. You are aware, you know, that, uh, good things in life don't just aren't handed to you that they're, they have to be earned that there is some work. I mean, you're, you're familiar with this, that, that work is, um, necessary to get the, to reap the rewards. And so you're well aware of that. And I know that you embrace that and you understand that. Um, I feel that you have definitely encountered setbacks maybe in the, the last months or weeks, or maybe it's been years. I don't know. Um, but the, the cool thing about this Capricorn is that, you know, when you're at the nine of wands, you've come a long way. Okay. So I want you to give yourself a huge pat on the back, a huge good job. Um, because this tells me that you have journeyed, you have, you've overcome so much. You might be feeling a little tired. Um, not physically, maybe physically, uh, emotionally, um, just to where you, you realize that there's, this is a time this next coming month is going to be a time for you to step back a little bit. And you're okay with that though. I feel that you're, you understand that, you know, that things aren't all, you know, timing energy. Um, you know, there's times where you are meant to pause and to reflect. So I feel like for the month of May, what you're desiring is just to kind of step back from all your labors and to just chill for a bit, to just kind of regather yourself, reground yourself. Um, you know, things might slow down a little bit in work or in love or whatever you've been waiting on, but I feel like 
you're okay with that because I feel like you know you know that success is coming. You know that success is not far behind. Um, and if you don't, you should. Uh, I don't want to say should. This is to encourage you that success is coming. There's going to be a need for a little bit more of a push and, and a little bit more endurance. But I know that you absolutely, out of all the signs, um, you're one of the hardest workers, most persevering workers. Um, so I feel like for the month of May, this there's going to be a time for reflection um, where you're going to kind of rejuvenate and need to rejuvenate yourself, to reground yourself, to reflect, to kind of look back to, and that's where I want you to be very loving and tender and rewarding of yourself because you have come so far. You have overcome many obstacles and now it's time to um, even though, you know, you may not be seen as quick uh, returns as you would like, you know that they're not far away and it's okay to just be for a while. So for the month of May, um, I feel like this is going to be a time for you to just be and, uh, you know, let the time take whatever it needs. It is what it is. And just kind of an acceptance, a pause, a reflection, and you can just be confident knowing that your success is just around the corner, but you're just going to take this time to let the, the time pass. I know we're also coming up on Mercury and retrograde. So travel communication, um, things slow down during this time. I mean, this isn't just for you. This is for everybody. So if something is delayed, I feel like you're going to accept that more, um, in the month of May. But success is assured. Don't you forget it. <laughs> um, okay. As far as what you are valuing in yourself and others, what you're identifying with, we have the page of swords and this is a champion. Nice. Okay. So this actually fits really with uh, what you're desiring because as you can tell, this person does not mess around. Okay. This person's very quick on their feet. This person knows exactly what they're all about. Um, the, and they're ready to defend. They're very, they're proactive. They're not reactive. Um, I feel that you, you're very clear about who you are right now. You're very clear about your intentions. You're very clear about your desires. You're not messing around anymore. Um, I feel like you're really strong in what your intentions are. Um, and it's no wonder that you, you know, you just might be feeling a little weary because you've definitely had a fighting spirit, an enterprising spirit, a spirit that, you know, you've been out in the world, you've been going for it. Um, and, and this is also a sword. So it's your thought processes. So you've been, you've been doing a lot of work and, and this person is really a champion. So they excel in logic. They excel in, um, arguments you could say or their cause, they, uh, this is someone that you don't want to mess with really. So this tells me that you know your stuff. Um, and you also value and respect people that do the same, that, um, aren't overly emotional and don't get totally dragged down in their emotions because they're just, they're too, too busy defending their cause and too, too busy doing the work about what their purpose and their calling is. So, I feel like your mind has been razor sharp. You have not compromised in your thought processes. So I'm proud of you for that Capricorn, because I know that takes strength. Um, and you're definitely exhibiting that energy where people know that you're not really the one to mess with. They're not going to pull one over on you. Um, because this is your energy that you're identifying with. And I sure wouldn't want to mess with this person. And this person isn't mean or cruel. They're just, they're prepared and they know who they are. This isn't someone that you can just take advantage of. I mean, you're going to battle it out with this person. If you know, you even want to try to <laughs> do any harm, not that someone wants to do harm, but, um, it's a, this is a powerful energy, powerful energy. So I can see why you're probably a little tired. You just need some time just to be, it's like, you're, you're so busy doing your work and moving forward in life. You know, I, I, I feel that's probably why you just need some chill, chillax time. Um, okay. So as far as what could be an obstacle and this kind of actually relates to, you know, the first card, we have the seven of Pentacles, and seven of Pentacles is progress. So this is telling me the month of May Capricorn, um, I feel like progress is going to slow down for you, but this is not bad. I want you to understand that. I know, 
you know, Capricorns are all about tangible, physical results and um, as an earth sign. And so, and they're just so hardworking and that, you know, work is kind of almost a sense of value or esteem for you. So if things are slowing down, it depends on where you're at in your journey. I think some Capricorns, as they get older, they understand that, you know, they have more peace and that, you know, if something's not coming together, you know, the universe just, it, there's a time and a place for all things. It just depends on, you know, sometimes when they're younger, they're just so ambitious and so, you know, want to conquer the world. It can be frustrating when things slow down because no matter how hard you're working, sometimes things are out of our control and it's not even you. It's like, it's just all the energies around you are just weird. Um, so this is letting you know the month of May, progress is going to slow down. I'm not going to say this is 100% for everyone, so don't feel like this is like, you know, fact for everybody. But for some Capricorns, um, progress is going to be slowed. But honestly, Capricorn, there's nothing wrong with that. That can be a positive thing because it allows you time, which is what you're actually desiring, to reflect, to calm yourself, to listen to your intuition, to make any changes, um, clarify yourself. It gives you uh, wisdom and learning. So a little bit of chill time before your amazing success isn't going to hurt anyone. Um, so anyway, for the month of May, that's just a little forewarning. I just want you to know that all is well. Things will come about in their perfect way and perfect timing. You're doing an amazing job. You're doing an amazing job, Capricorn. I just want to let you know because this just tells me, like, do not mess with the Capricorn. The Capricorn is like laser sharp knows their stuff, knows where they're going. <laughs> the only thing that can stop the Capricorn is like the powers of the universe themselves. Um, okay. So the right, the right actions to take. Okay. I love it. I love it. Um, we have the star, um, optimism. Oh, so beautiful. So the right actions to take whatever Capricorn is going to give you that feeling and that sense of inspiration and hope. Okay. Whatever is going to help you to see that silver lining, to know that all is well, to feel that Zen, that bliss, um, that's the actions that you want to take. And that could be very counterintuitive. It may not be going to the office and working 12 hours. It might be going for a long nature walk. It might be walking your dog. It might be playing with your grandkids. It might be holding a baby. It might be shopping. I don't know. Um, the point is, is only you can, only you know what's going to help you balance and recharge because, um, this, this gal too, she's waiting, she's waiting, she has hope. And so I do feel like you're going to be a little bit in a waiting tank. Um, but, but look at this gorgeous, beautiful star that's just around the corner for you. There's something amazing that you're working towards. It's coming to you. It is coming to you. Uh, this is just a time to believe to believe and to have hope and, um, any negativity or any doubts that come to the surface, just let those go. They don't have to rule you. They don't have to control you. Um, you know, that can come from you or someone else or what, you know, even, even if it does, don't judge it. it. Just decide that that's not what you're choosing to believe. Um, so the actions that God and the universe wants you to take is belief, hope, faith, optimism, knowing that God loves you, that good things are coming in your life, that there is something gorgeous and beautiful for you. And uh, as long as you take care of yourself, love yourself and take those inspired actions, you will have it. So that's really awesome. Um, as far as the attitude to have for yourself and others, we actually have the wheel of fortune. Uh, or the wheel of life. So I'm excited. There hasn't been any signs that have had this card yet. So this tells me that once again, man, I love how there's like themes. I feel reflection Capricorn. I feel that this is a pause for you. This is a time for you to sit back and say, Hey, what, let me look at every area of my life. Let me look at, you know, all the work I've put in so far, what I've learned from these experiences, um, what insights, what feels right? What doesn't feel right? What feels off? What's not resonating with me? This is a time to take stock. This card is really about looking at all the different areas. And if something is not sitting well for you, now is the time to kind of recalibrate or re-strategize or formulate a plan. Um, so you can even make a list. You could make a chart and just from one to 10 be like, okay, how am I feeling about my health? How am I feeling about my love? How am I feeling about my work? 
Uh, it's not really about doing, it's about reflecting and, and kind of re-strategizing. So the right attitude to take is to really just, you're kind of observing this month. You're, you're really watching, you're looking, you're sensing, you're feeling, you're thinking, um, you're being, you're resting, and you're kind of taking stock of the big picture. And the universe is really pausing, and that's why these times that slow down are kind of beautiful, because sometimes they force us to do that. Like maybe we wouldn't have been willing to do it, but sometimes we have to have all these things slow down so that we are like, okay, hmm, let's think about some things that maybe I haven't thought about for a long time. So this is the right attitude for you to have as far as yourself and even with others. I feel also that this month is a month for you. It's really about making yourself a priority. I mean, other people, you know, are obviously your family, your friends, whatever. I mean, those are, they're important, but Capricorn this month is kind of about you. I feel like you need to take that time for yourself so you can really get centered and get grounded, um, recharge the batteries. And then when you do go back, you know, into your full force again, that you're really centered. You're really, you're just, you're powerful. You're ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and just recap here before we get to the outcome card. So we have the nine of rods and it's about setbacks. For the month of may it's about pausing reflection it's about being kind of tired after a long journey about you've had many accomplishments you've battled you've done a lot of different things you might be feeling a little pessimistic or just a little like oh am i ever going to reach these goals yes the answer is yes um, it's about acceptance of timing and divine timing and you know, just accepting the forces outside of us and just being at peace with that. Um, as far as what you are currently valuing and identifying with, we have the page of swords. So is really the champion. You really, you fought hard Capricorn. You've really fought hard. You've been so strong mentally. You've been really focused. You've been really clear. And also with the sword, I feel like you've been cutting away, cutting away anything that's not you know, advancing your purpose or your cause. Um, you're not afraid to stand up for who you are. You're not afraid to stand up for what you believe in. Um, and you've been ready. You've been protecting yourself. You've been protecting your family, your friends. Um, so really beautiful energy there. Uh, as far as what could be an obstacle, uh, we have the seven of pentacles, which is work in progress. So progress could be delayed in the month of May. Certain things that you were hoping to like, just go through really quickly, um, might not go through as quickly as you want, or it just, there might be sidetracked or side railed. Um, progress is going to slow for some Capricorns for the month of May. And the attitude, excuse me, the actions to take in respect to that is really optimism because this lets you know that this is very temporary. Um, it's not forever. Um, you're kind of in a waiting tank here. You're in you're, but you're surrounded, you're safe, you're protected. You know, like God is there with you, your angels, you're being protected, you're being guided and you're on the right path. No doubt about it. So keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the beauty of the star, the hope, the optimism, the, the awesome plan for you. Okay. And the attitude to take is really just to take stock, to just look at everything, look at all your accomplishments so far. Um, find out if anything is out of balance or needs a little bit more moderation or needs a little bit, um, more nurturing or care, or, you know, to really just see if there's anything else in your life that could help you assist you, you have the time you're, you know, allow yourself to relax a little bit or allow yourself to reflect and not put so much pressure on yourself. Um, allow yourself just to be and enjoy nature, enjoy those things that bring you that sense of optimism and hope. Um, allow yourself to do that. You deserve that. You work your tushy off. <laughs> so if you do that Capricorn, we have the page of cups. Okay. I love it. I love it. You're going to get a positive message message. That's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. So basically you have emotional fulfillment and satisfaction coming to you. Because this is a general reading, I mean, I'll, at face value, this is a love, emotional, someone is going to give you an emotional message that's going to make you feel really good. It could be someone that's, you know, coming to you. Um, but also just on a general way, it could be, be a business, it could be a friend, it could be family, 
Um, basically, you're going to attract by balancing your energies and just taking time. You're going to attract a message or a situation, a person, a business that's going to bring you a positive message that's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. And that's, I think that's going to be a breath of fresh air for you. I feel like, you know, it's just going to be like, oh, all my hard work has been worth it. You know, you're just going to get validation and affirmation that good things are coming to you. So very awesome spread. Keep up the good work. You're doing amazing as always. Um, and this is a general reading. So if for some reason, uh, this did not resonate with you, I am also offering personalized readings. Now this will get a lot more specific on your energy and what's going on with you. But if this has helped you, I would so appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel, that's going to ensure you to get all the monthly messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. So Capricorn, thank you so much for watching and you have a beautiful rest of your day.